Hello diecast collectors, welcome to CRA Diecast. Uh, on today's video I thought I would just pose a little bit of a challenge to you collectors out there and um, just want to show some of your veteran and vintage castings pre-1960. I'm sure a lot of you guys have got heaps of things to show. It doesn't have to be anything major, just any car, truck, motorbike, bus, whatever you've got in your collection, pre-1960. And just before I start, I just want to give a quick shout out to some new subscribers that have joined the channel in the last couple of days. Really appreciate your support and um, it really helps me out a lot, so thanks very much. To start with, I've got a 1932 Ford Coupe from Matchbox. This is a really neat little casting. Really like that colour, little strawberry red. It's only a fairly new release, a lot of you guys probably got it. I know I've seen it on a few other channels and a lot of the collectors like these sort of roadsters and hot rods. And then from Hot Wheels, another 32 Ford Coupe from their Mattel Games series. This one's looks awesome, it's in a nice um, French blue. I'll pop that there, you can see them both. They look great. Oh, and um, Liz is waving frantically down there, welcoming everyone, so thanks Liz, my little supporter. And then from Matchbox, a 34 Chevy Master Coupe. This one's really nice. Do you like the spare tyre on the deck lid? It's got a little rumble seat compartment there. And those nice... Uh, Hubcaps from Matchbox, they do a great job with those. Then next up a 36 Ford Coupe, also from Matchbox. This one's brilliant in a nice charcoal grey. And it's got tampoed headlamps. Nothing on the back but chrome bumpers, real, real lowered, and she rolls nicely. And then from Corgi, a 1937 Rolls Royce, and this is from the movie Goldfinger. So that's great, this one. I do have the Aston Martin from the movie as well. Nice yellow and black two-tone paint. 007 on the license plate. And uh, Tampo tail lamps. And spare tyres on the running boards. That's awesome. And then from M2, a 1944 Jeep in total wax livery. Looks nice, the surfboard does come off but I've just got it stuck on the roof. You can see the spare fuel fuel tank at the back and some shovels on the side skirting. And tempoed headlamps, I think. Oh, yeah, silver painted. Yeah, but that's uh, nice, that one. And next up from Matchbox, a 47 and a half Chevy pickup truck in like an olive green. No details on the front, but uh, I do like the 
the wheels on it and uh, tampo work on the doors it's a nice colour and then next up from Matchbox a 1948 Willys Jeep this one looks really nice it's a fairly new release The wipers, details on the windshield, dark green interior, muddy tyres. And then next from Matchbox, a 1948 Willys Jeepster, I'm sure. Everyone's familiar with this one. It's a really nice casting. You've done a good job on that. Tampoed headlamps. Those nice matchbox rims and wheels. Next up from Hot Wheels, a 49 Mercury convertible. It's got like a hot rod. Do you like this one? It's got uh, side pipes at the bottom. No tampo work on the rear. But yeah, nice lowered stance at the front, tempoed headlamps, chrome grill. And the next from Matchbox of 1949, Curtis Sports Car. That's a nice burgundy colour. Again with those nice rims and uh, wheels with the chrome trim rings. And then from M2, a 1950 Oldsmobile 88. And it does have opening doors, opening hood. That looks really great. It's like a charcoal grey. Yeah, I love these old boats from the 50s and 60s. Nice red interior, red rims. And then from Matchbox, a 1953 Buick Skylark convertible. I'm sure everyone's familiar with this one. This is a beautiful casting, did a great job on this. Really like this one. Burgundy interior, nice frosty blue paint. It's got tempoed headlamps, big chrome grill and bumper. So yeah, it's a gorgeous car that one. And then from Greenlight, a 55 Cadillac Fleetwood in flames. So this is really nice with the nice white wall tires. So Sorry about the plane, I'm on the flight path. So that's a 
beautiful casting, real Elvis Presley style, this one. It's got uh, inserted headlamps, which is nice. And then next up from Hot Wheels, a couple of Mercedes-Benz 300 SLs. I do like these models. Gorgeous. Yeah, I do like that cream, it really suits that car down to the ground. And next up from Hot Wheels, a couple of 55 Chevy Bel Airs. And these are brilliant. Gunmetal grey and a beautiful burgundy. Yeah, this is gorgeous, this one. I think this was a gift from David at Twice Diecast. Yeah, I really like that one. Beautiful detail, love the rims on it. Stock standard. Gorgeous. And then next from Johnny Lightning, a trio of 57 Lincoln Premieres. Gorgeous convertible. This fantastic metallic red coupe. And an unpainted one as well. So I was lucky to get that. They all have, oh this one has an opening hood. See that 360 or well, 358 cubic inch V8, I think it was. But yeah, I love these big Lincolns. Oh, and then from M2, a 57 Mercury Turnpike Cruiser. This is gorgeous. Gloss black with um, gold trim along the side. And has opening doors, opening hood, I think. Oh, it opens forward. Yeah. yeah, it's got the um, Continental spare tyre kit on the back. That's a really gorgeous car. Red, red, white and black interior. I think you can see that. Wide white walls. Yeah, that's beautiful. And the next one is a Matchbox 56 Jaguar XK140 Roadster. The 
looks nice in that British racing green. And the next one from Hot Wheels, a 57 Chevy Bel Air. This one's gorgeous. Big uh, side pipes down the bottom. Wide white walls. Lots of um, striping everywhere. And then from Greenlight from their Hollywood series. 58 Plymouth Fury, the old Christine car. That looks gorgeous. Big fins. Tampate headlamps with beautiful details on the grill. And nice chrome hubcaps. The big old wide white walls. Who doesn't love a 58 Plymouth? From M2, 58 Chevy Impala in a nice um, purple, I guess, mauve colour. And that's beautiful. Nice chrome details around the windows and windshield and around the drip rails. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Nice chrome hubcaps. Oops, and the hood, I think, doesn't. No, the hood doesn't open. It's nice interior. Triple tail lights. Yeah, that's. Uh, Fantastic. And next one from Matchbox 59 Dodge Coronet Police Car. That's gorgeous, too. And finally finishing off with a 59 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe in bright red. That is a beast. And that has opening doors, I think. And opening hood. Really nice engine detail in there. Uh, bronzed air cleaner, blue painted block, red and white interior. Pity they didn't put just the um, standard hubcaps on it, make it real bone stock. And the huge big fins and um, quad tail lights at the back. So that's my bit for the challenge if anyone wants to compete that would be great so anything pre-1960 whatever you want to show would be brilliant so I hope you've enjoyed that little video and if you have hit the thumbs up and share and subscribe if you wish and subscribe is free so that would really help me out so I'll just do a bit of a quick overview So as I said, roadsters, 
cars, trucks, bikes, planes if you got some, hot rods, so And as we'll wave goodbye and I'll say goodbye and we'll catch you on a future video. So thanks very much and bye for now.